Hey guys, welcome to Off Road with Whiskey and Sunshine. Let's go check out the garden. So we've been working hard getting the greenhouse cleaned out. We've got a bunch of stuff planted around the garden. So I was going to take you on a little tour and show you got what we got going on. So I planted the zucchini a few weeks ago because it really needed to get in the ground. It was flowering and it's doing really well. It's probably doubled in size. And I've got a bunch over, over there that I have no room for. I don't know why I planted so many or I started so many. I have no idea. I've given a couple away and I still have two, four, uh, six of them there. So uh, we'll see. I may just stick them in the ground somewhere and see what happens. I don't have any room in the garden and I'll show you why. But I did want to show you that I've been only getting male flowers. This was a male, but I'm pretty excited because this is a female right here. This is a female flower that's going to open up. And I think I saw another one somewhere. I guess that one right there might be, or maybe not, I'm not sure. There was another one I saw, it might be on the other plant, but that's definitely a female. It's different than, it's got the little lines. It looks like a small zucchini. Whereas this male is just a stem. Can you see the difference? So this is a male right here. This is a male flower, if you can tell by the stem. It is just a stem. This is a female because it's a small, tiny little uh, zucchini. And when that opens, that will have the little, uh, the little female parts so that something can come along and pollinate from the male to the female. So that will be a zucchini because if it doesn't do it by a pollinator, it's gonna do it by Shelly power. I'm gonna look in here. I don't, that one's, a, that one's a male, it's just a regular stem. That one's a male, it's just a regular stem. Um, that one might be a female right there, but it's too small to tell. Okay, so I've got some just flowers planted in here. This is a sunflower, marigold. This is borage. Look how huge it is. Borage is awesome, awesome stuff. The same thing over here, uh, sunflower, borage, and a marigold. Potatoes are doing great. They've all been filled up with dirt for the most part. I could add just a little bit more. I did put some straw on them to keep them from drying out because we didn't get any rain for a while, but we did actually get some rain last night. In this, gar in this uh, bed here, I've got tomatoes. That one got burned by the sun. We were watering and my granddaughter was helping and I think one of us, I can't say it was definitely her, but one of us ended up spraying this plant and it got burned by the sun. So that's what all this is, but it'll grow out of it. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. The top is good, it'll be all right, it'll grow out of it. But uh, we have onions down around the edge all the way around. So we have onions and then I didn't have any room. I needed to put peppers somewhere. I ran out of room for peppers. So I have peppers in here. I'm thinking these are sweet, but I do have a mix of hot and sweet. And for some reason, uh, they weren't all labeled and I'm not sure why I did not label them. So I may have a mixture of hot and sweet together. I don't know. So we may get a surprise on our peppers. I have some, these are cucumbers. Have those started. I haven't put them in the ground yet because I got to find a spot. Got an extra, oh, we got these caterpillars too. Let's see if I can get out of the way. We got those caterpillars everywhere and the chickens are eating them, but this one's in the garden. So we're gonna get rid of him because I don't know if he eats stuff in here. So these are peppers. I believe these are hot peppers, but I'm not positive. 
Got a marigold in here. These are sweet peppers, I believe, I'm hoping. Uh, we got carrots started over here in my little uh, tub bed that I have. Those have started pretty good. See some of the little sprouts. So that's looking nice. We've got some parsley and some, I think, oregano. I think that's what that is. There's another caterpillar. They're everywhere. But again, the chickens eat them, so I'm happy about that. So, uh, tomatoes all in this great big long bed. These are all just regular tomatoes. They're getting flower buds or they're getting the, yeah, flower buds on them. So I'm hoping pretty soon we will start getting tomatoes out of them. These are about a week in the ground, so giving them a little time. These are my uh, strawberry plants. These were wild. They just grew in this bed, so I thought I would leave them and see what would happen. I've got some little strawberry buds there. I don't know if they will do anything, but I mixed them in with my tomatoes because I had to put them somewhere. So my granddaughter came over and helped me plant a bunch of these plants. And if you haven't seen it, she helped me plant all these onions. And she did an awesome job helping me do that. She is so smart at four years old. So we're doing really well with the onions. And she helped me do a bunch of these peppers. She mostly just likes to dig in the dirt, but that's okay because I like it loosened up. It's really good. I've got a few peppers that are a little yellow, so I'm hoping those will catch up here. Like I said, it's about a week, so they're probably like, oh my gosh, where am I? So in here, I think there's the sweet peppers as well. Uh, more tomato plants. And then this is uh, our other potatoes, the ones that I had from my pantry that went to seed. And they just started sprouting. So I put them in the ground. And so far we have some really green, green plants. Some very nice plants. I've built them up and then I also took hay and put them all around it to keep hopefully the weeds down and keep them well watered, uh, you know, and moist underneath there. So we'll keep watch of those and make sure it doesn't uh, hinder instead of help, we're hoping. Okay. These are our gar garlic. Garlic is growing huge. I mean, these are huge, huge, huge plants. And again, I think this is music garlic. Planted these last year in October. So they're doing really well. Everything came up. So I'm hoping there are great big giant bulbs underneath there. I fed them about a month ago with some blood meal. They really need to be fed this time of year. They're hungry, they're heavy feeders, so make sure you feed them. And uh, they really like that. So once I did that, they just sprouted right up wicked quick. So it's very good. These are CBD plants, different varieties, many different varieties. Uh, we have them all labeled, but we just got these in the ground as well. They're doing really well. I, not much to say about them except for their, they, we use them for uh, pain relief. Uh, we try not to take the Tylenol or Advil if we can help it. And the CBD plants can uh, help us with that. And maybe we'll show you more of that when we uh, process them. And we have done a little bit on how to make the coconut oil. So if you're interested, I'll put a link up in the, up in the corner so you can check out that playlist on what we do with our CBD uh, oils and how we use them. But that's our garden, guys. It's, uh, you know, I'm hoping the potatoes are doing well. We're gonna have hopefully lots of tomatoes. This is just 
uh, one step in many steps of having a garden. Got a nasturtium there, trying to get my pollinators to come in. Last year to attract the pollinators, I did a bunch of flowers in the garden and they were beautiful and I love them. And I would have done that again this year, but I went overboard with my tomato and pepper plants. Uh, I'm planning on doing, if we get the fruit, uh, planning on doing a bunch of sauce, uh, salsa, marinara, all that kind of thing. If uh, we get it, this, uh, you know, the peppers are also probably going to be part of that as well. We want to put that in a lot of different dishes and uh, do a lot of canning. So this is going to help us with our uh, $50 challenge for February. I'm hoping that we're going to have a bunch of canned up sauces and soups with all of this stuff here that we'll be able to feed ourselves for that challenge. So Rich and Holly from the Old Swedes Farm uh, are putting out this challenge along with Annette from the Cow Emporium and they will, uh, they're doing this challenge for don't spend any more than $50 for the month of February on your groceries. So we are trying really hard as we do every year to grow our own food or as much as possible to supplement uh, so we don't have to go out and buy it. So this year I've really gone crazy with uh, just putting stuff in everywhere I can find it. We've extended the garden out uh, to add some more of our CBD plants because we want more of that. Uh, potatoes up the woo wazoo. Um, we are just growing crazy here. But this is just a first step or one of the, it's not the first step, but is one of the many steps in gardening that uh, make me very nervous. When you first start your seeds, you know, you get them and you first start them and you hope they germinate and grow up to be a little seedling. And there's just so many steps to it. You know, they get bigger and then you've got to transplant them into something bigger. If you can't get them in the ground yet and then you worry about them going into shock and things happening. Uh, there's just so many different things that could happen when you have a garden uh, pests, animals, um, you know, all different kinds of things, weather that could happen to mess up your plans for your garden. You can have all the plans in the world. That doesn't mean it's definitely going to go through. So uh, I'm keeping a close watch on pests. We have it all fenced in. We've gone around and reinforced everything, keep the bunny out, to keep the chickens out, and hopefully any other animals that want to get in here. The only other one that gets in here is the chipmunks, and we're trying to deal with that as well because they're digging holes and uh, I'm not a fan of the chipmunks sometimes. I, I don't mind them out and about away from the garden and the chicken feed and all that, but they tend to be kind of a nuisance. So hopefully I'll be able to show you guys a zucchini pretty soon. Uh, it looks like that's going to flower soon and I'm going to pollinate by hand. I've done this for a few years now. Uh, even, you know, even though I know that we have pollinators flying around and just seeing something go around right now, uh, my leaf cutter bees have hatched. I will show you that. And I'm so I'm pretty excited about that. That's going to be uh, pretty awesome. It was so awesome to go in there and see those holes were popped open and uh, it looks like they had hatched. So that was really fun to find. 
Oh yeah, we have baby birds in our tractor. So uh, they like to lay eggs up in the roof of the tractor and um, they, we've been knocking it down for years. Finally this year, we were busy and we didn't get to the tractor soon enough and they made a nest and laid eggs, so we left it. So we're still using the tractor. Mama just sits in there on them and I checked yesterday and she actually has one hatched and I think three or four other eggs in there. So that'll be interesting. We're, I'm watching them go in and out and in and out and they still, we still use the tractor. They just, she just sits in there on them and makes sure that that baby doesn't fall out or the eggs. We don't do anything too crazy with it. Uh, we just use it like we normally would. We're just more gentle about it. And the chickens are doing well. The babies, all the babies growing. We've got teenagers now that are growing up and I'm pretty sure one of them at least is a rooster. It's showing definitely signs of being a rooster. The other two, we're not sure yet because they're still pretty tiny little fluff balls, but we're enjoying seeing them run around the yard. Hi.